the virtual portal section the virtual portals uh, yeah you clicked that one right yeah now let, let's wait here so now we will understand uh, what is this you can you can see that uh, portal has a concept called a virtual portal uh, what does this do uh, unlike uh, uh, there are two type of scalings so there is a scaling called vertical scaling so vertical scaling uses one system's maximum efficiency exactly similarly to vertical scaling a virtual portal has a definition like it will use all of the same hardware the same portal you created the pages and you deployed the portlets uh, same thing it will use all of them okay same thing but uh, it will serve uh, for a different business purpose uh, it will serve a different url and for a, again a different business purpose it will serve a different url because for a different purpose you don't need to go and have another portal installation or another profile creation like that but one thing you have to supply is because you are when you are increasing uh, virtual portals you you have to supply more cpus and more ram and more uh, the you know the very good systems you have to supply the very good boxes rack boxes and all you have to supply if that thing is met how many virtual portals maximum we can create in a portal environment is uh, 255 we can create more than that we cannot create but even if we create uh, Mm, even if you create a more than 10 itself the, it will become very slow uh, the reason is what what is happening when you create a virtual portal and why the websphere portal itself is appearing as a virtual portal you see the first virtual portal is websphere portal yes. yeah so what is happening is uh, uh, when, uh, you know a portal has a resource manager concept if you go to uh, the left hand side user and groups and below that the resource permissions click that resource permissions the left hand side the resource permissions has uh, virtual resources click that virtual resources yep exactly so virtual portal click that portal pencil icon now uh, sorry security icon yeah now what is happening here click the administrators edit role so what is happening so it uh, by default uh, from the installation time onwards a, a person who is a user WP8 admin uh, is is managing uh, is the super uh, is the administrator and a group called WPS admins I, these two are the th this group and user are the administrators but only you are seeing here a power to delete these guys but if you go anywhere apart from this place you will see only inheritance means this is the topmost portal security route what you are view viewing now is the topmost means if you want to add Satya here if you, if you add him here then he will also become administrator simply you don't need to make him a WPS admins group under him because even WPS admins you can remove here right there is a delete button yeah correct so from here everything all the inheritance to all pages content management all each and every portal resource the inheritance is going on from this place uh, so there is a virtual resource called WebSphere portal and similarly like WebSphere portal we are designing the virtual portals so how to do that so the, there is a default virtual portal available in portal which is called WebSphere portal he, here is the game now so now you simply create a new virtual portal yeah so uh, a virtual portal title could be uh, based on your business why do why do we need first of all let us take the real example why do we need virtual portals yeah, the, yes the same case is true so after WPS my portal uh, this virtual portal also will go and sit the URL will be accessible after WPS my portal same like your URLs so once you create a virtual portal you cannot create with the same name URL 
so why do we need because our organization is only thi- uh, suppose our organization is only talking or um, doing things all these portal things for suppose let us say employees and then um, uh, but if we if you want to uh, if you want to do it for a separate for each each type of uh, employee if you want to do it uh, a separate like hr you want a hmm, uh, like a, uh, for a finance guys if you want a business portal where he logs in he will see the different resources or you know let us say it take in a hospital a hospital has two kind of things an employees and a patients guys so now let us say i want to keep my hospital website because my first and most patient is my customer and i want to keep another portal for employees where they can come uh, after uh, after office and they can come and log in and see their mails or few things like that so then i can keep a different business portal for them so the title should be like um, like say b portal yeah b portal something you type it yeah so hope i believe b portal and description this is for uh, uh, business uh, business purpose something type it and whatever the url you want this also should be meaningful like uh, Hmm, business purpose hey, that mozilla is ever mozilla crash or my mozilla crash mine mine sorry i got yeah. it hmm. okay yeah well man so uh, mm-hmm. no no no, uh, no just one word only you have to give mm, one meaningful word let us say b portal uh, if you give in capital letters also the context root url context plays a very big role so means that is the name of your real virtual portal title won't play any role so small letters b portal even if you give capital letter it will take only it will provide you b portal small letters you are alone now is the thing everyone see remember now mm, now the virtual portal host name and all you you don't need to worry about that uh, that is a all a different thing i will talk about later you don't need to give anything there the um, that is default Uh, your primary node if you have a cluster environment also it will be sitting on your primary node mm, and unless you want to host it on a http server or somewhere and and so far nobody ever uh, used this because you see again from http server you cannot cause 1003 and all double page portal so the next important thing is user realm you understand you see now uh, i have an hospital and now all of my employees wants to log in so for that portal i am asking portal that you create a virtual portal now i will go and ask my tds administrator tivoli directory server administrator boss can you create a group for my employees uh, a separate uh, virtual group and keep all of my employees in a group and uh, assume for your case it is nothing but your wp admins so each and every time uh, you uh, so the logical uh, user creation or a realm you are you are creating so a realm is for a different business purpose you are logically grouping so i might be having a tds and active directory and so many other things uh, as a ldaps in my organization so i might be going and requesting the domain administrator and tivoli administrator and portal administrator everyone boss hmm, can you can you keep, uh, keep a group for me can you keep a group for me and in portal all those logical groups the three different ldaps you have uh you know you will create using your vim config using your vim config i, I will show you how to do that uh, in vim config you will create a realm creation is possible in portal so a realm now maps this so and so employee realm if you already created um, the employee realm is tagged to your three ldaps and the base dn is cn is equal to user cn is equal to your hospital and dc is equal to your hospital and dc is equal to com so like that we have to understand a virtual portal is always mapping to a realm so uh, but in our case for one simple example how, what are the options we are seeing here default vim based realm and yeah. any, anything else in the drop down no man i don't yeah exactly so but if we create anything i will i will create that also remlan but we need ldaps and all but i will show you how to add in base itself so now 
initial uh, this re this realm has after you choose you need you need to get a admin user admin group that's what that's what i said that's why that guy will go and ask three places create a group same group but it is in three different directory server side so he will pick up that group now in our case let us say wps admins is available in default vim based realm S yes click that search button yeah all available search yeah select the wps admins button so here you have chosen because we don't have that ldaps and all you have chosen wps admins and our default our vim vim file system and means same guys who are administering portal are administering vim portal also yes that works click okay now this takes 30 seconds or 1 minute it will create the virtual portal yeah I'll go to the top of the screen it might be creating virtual portal now it's 130 uh, already we will finish after this yeah sure now. yeah so uh, we will learn meanwhile what the virtual portal does in reality it has a separate admin console now i will show you so it has a separate uh, admin console and uh, if you give portal admin to permission to log in or uh, if 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 you create a new portal user admin for this that's okay so somebody is the administrator he logs in now what he will do obviously he he cannot he cannot deviate uh, from using system resources system portlets and whatever the portlets but uh, here here he will use a facility called provide providing a portlet copying a portlet these two facilities he will log into this admin console and he will take existing calculator portlet and he will take a copy of it and rename it as if, if it is uh, you know uh, rename it as something you know so on so for b virtual portal you will keep the name and you know like that but this cannot be this is not obviously end user cannot see so like that he will use such kind of mechanism why he is using same because he is not doing any new deployments he is using all base portal resources and creating instances so what happens when b portal starts then only runtime load runtime portlet instances is the only hectic which that is nothing but our jvm size right and uh, the requests of those jvms to database and all so you need to provide additional hardware but portal and all you don't need to worry it you will use same resources you don't need to provide another deployments and all right so but page creation you will do because it has a different layout right but again page creation uh, themes and all he can use uh, he can use a parent uh, theme and all like that so now if you want to see the admin console of the portal click the url context or this one anything you know will work yeah b portal so now how the url contact is work uh, contest is working you see the url of our your portal page now my yeah. portal b portal this virtual portal has a very highest precedence so when you create a virtual portal that one you it will it won't work for any other url so now this virtual you see something is missing here if you go very down it doesn't have virtual portal creation option at the very down left hand side yes so it has a few things like again this guy can click content management libraries click it web content management libraries yeah so again same 
it has uh, same kind of situation if you want extra libraries to view you can view uh, you can uh, like that so now overall the what once you create a virtual portal what happens when one uh, the developer who asks you to create this virtual portal uh, will send all the content he will prepare the virtual portal decoration how it looks like everything once work, work, uh, working condition it is reached he will syndicate all the content to you through portal site library and the moment once portal site takes one two hours and gets all the content from there uh, it will show you on the top on the top hand side right now you have home administration set center tag center right so yeah. there uh, there there will be four more or five more pages are reaching uh, once syndication is finished there it is reaching and the uh, developer itself will say will make the uh, while syndication is happening the current home page he will hide and he will show his so and so so and so hospital or b portal home page as the active home page how to do that just go to manage pages all these settings is reaching here and your your portal is alive so how to do that mm, click manage pages click any content route exactly yeah click it again yeah so what is happening there is a status button for each and every label or page you see status button yeah there 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 yeah, exactly left hand side uh, left hand side there is a status active 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 you can can you see that so take home button take okay. home at the take home the middle go to middle middle of the screen then 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 little you are going to the end of the screen yeah yeah okay status okay right uh, yeah that status exactly women so uh, is that status can be active and deactive can you able to click that okay, okay now go inside home i'll tell you go inside home Uh, or go to any page that you created. Sorry. That books page is not books is not uh, visible. Yeah. yeah. Can we export books here? Ah uh, no, it's already there. That's what. Uh, that books page is uh, uh, visible to so and so, Vimal and something, right? So that was gone. So even not not even here it is exp it is uh, it is visible, is it? Not even in the admin console. Yeah. Uh, no problem. So now we go to administration tab. I mean, uh, sorry, here in the home, no, not there. In the in your in your content route only. Yeah, click administration. Not home. Cut administration, because this might be having at least some pages. Again, in going. Ah, uh, yeah. Wait. You see the status now. Active. Click yeah. the active. Deactive. Oh, it says deactive. Yeah, oh. deactive. So what happens, Vimalan? Uh, yeah, but there is uh, some problem here. Currently, mm -hmm. as you said, okay, go back. The deactive it will become to deactive mode, and like that, the user will control your home. He will deactive. He will he will make it deactive your home. Oh. Hmm. Uh, something happened. Uh, our uh, logout login again. So you understand, na? Huh? So like that. Uh, all the content he will push and uh, that will become a website your b portal will become a website hmm, okay man the, the i think we are good for today